Although new evidence, including voicemails proving that Joe Biden was aware of Hunter's business dealings, new texts indicating that Joe Biden granted permission for certain financial transactions, and new emails showing that Joe Biden agreed to cover more than $800,000 in legal bills relating to those same business dealings has surfaced, Attorney General Merrick Garland has refused to provide any update on the ongoing federal tax and finance investigations into Hunter Biden and has dismissed the need to appoint a special counsel. But now, Republican Representative James Comer has accused the Treasury Department of running interference for the White House in an attempt to stymie efforts to investigate both Hunter's and Joe Biden's finances. 